What's up everybody, Anthony with Granddaddy Herbs back again with another video. Yes, today's video is gonna be awesome. I'm gonna be unboxing a new snake that I got from my buddy Kai over at Lucas Landis, sorry, Lucas Landon Royals. And uh, really excited for this male. I really needed this male for this coming season. It is an adult breeder, so you're gonna wanna stay tuned. Also, this video, I'm gonna highlight my pied project and uh, the plans for this season's breeding. So. Stay tuned, chillax, let's get right into it. Okay guys, we have our box here. Um, so I had to open this box because there was a delay with FedEx. So um, I did check on him to make sure he was okay, but then I put him back away. Um, so again, this is from Kai over at Lucas Landon's, Lucas Landon Royals. i get that to focus. There we go. Um, Awesome, awesome dude. I've known him for a few years. Uh, one of my good buddies. Uh, yeah, he's been doing YouTube and been breeding for a long time, just as myself. Um, so, uh, with this pickup, um, I I needed to grab an adult male pied or het pied combo um, because my um, pastel leopard yellow belly pied male that I that I got towards the middle or beginning of the year. Um, I thought I could get him sized up, which he was doing good for a little while. He was eating a lot, and then he just completely stopped eating. And so I was on Morph Market for a few days just trying to browse for, for a male to breed to my four pied females that I have. Um, and I came across this one, and um, a lot of you guys know I'm a huge fan of, of one of the genes that are in this, in this guy. And so I decided to go ahead and grab him. Uh, looks like he's going into a shed a uh, little cold to the touch, but we'll get him warmed up, but um, What we have here is a blackhead Mojave 100% het for pied um, Kai got him from JKR when he was a baby and I'll include a picture but you can see all that blackhead mixed with Mojave especially on the sides and it was, it was easier to tell that this was a blackhead Mojave when it was younger. Um, but awesome male. We're gonna get this guy quarantined. We're gonna get him fed. Um, and then, you know, we'll put him into, into some work or in, with some of these females. Um, I, I've got two females that for sure he's gonna go to. I might reserve my two other pied females for um, some hets, some powerful hets, maybe some, some double het stuff. Um, not exactly sure, um, but he's for sure gonna go to the pastel enchi pied and um, one of my big, big pied girls that's just huge. Didn't go last season, but went the season before. So, really pumped to have this male. It's gonna do awesome things. I think a blackhead enchi uh, Mojave pied is gonna look really good. I uh, haven't been able to find one online, but uh, I have seen the blackhead Mojave pieds and those look really good too. So, that's what we're gonna be shooting for, guys. Okay, guys, so first animal I'm gonna show you um, is the reason for today's pickup. Um, this was the male I picked up a few months ago with high hopes of getting him to size so he could breed. Um, at first, he was doing pretty good. He was uh, eating pretty consistently, but he was eating smaller meals. He, he wouldn't take um, anything with any decent size on it. So I was feeding him twice a week a smaller meal, and he was doing really good. Uh, this is a pastel leopard yellow belly pied. Um, really gorgeous male. Got a really nice neck and head pattern. Really, really phenomenal male. But I was hoping to have this guy do some work and breed to my pieds this season so I could get, you know, a nice army of, of female pieds. Um, but he's right at about 350 grams and he hasn't eaten in about three weeks. So he's, he's, he's empty. Um, he's very empty. And so what happened was he was eating decently and he was in a small little uh, vision tub 
and I decided to move them up. Well, what sometimes happens is when you move up ball pythons into a bigger tub, it will put them in sort of a shock or you know, you put them in a different environment. So he decided not to, not to eat. So he hasn't eaten in a few weeks. So what I did was I put him back in the six quart, or not the six quart, it's actually bigger than a six quart, it's longer. But I put him back in that vision hatchling tub and uh, we'll see if we can get him to eat in the next day or two. Um, if I can get him back on food, I'll just feed him a little bit more often. I won't necessarily power feed him, overfeed him, but I'll just feed him a little bit more frequently. And then I'll save a female. If he starts eating, I'll save a female for him uh, to go maybe in like January, um, as long as he, again, is consistent with eating. But yeah, that is the pastel leopard yellow belly pied. Rage on that beat, going crazy. Okay guys, so next animal I want to show you is this huge female pied. I mean, this girl is massive. Um, if I should guess, without throwing her on a scale, she's probably about 2,500 grams, maybe even bigger. Um, but this girl is definitely going to go to the pickup. So definitely going to go. So. The plans is to see if I can get the Mojave Blackhead um, female and male. So that way I can hold them back. This girl's an exceptional female. Um, those of you that have been following may remember this is the girl I got off of Craigslist for 200 bucks and she was already an adult. And um, got her sized up real quick, got her in the breeding rotation and she produced two of, uh, two of my favorite girls in my collection. Um, you know, I mean, I got many favorites, but um, since I have her here, why not I why not I just grab them? But last season, um, I paired a pastel inchy desert ghost to her. So not not this season that I've been hatching babies, but last season um, I hatched out two very exceptional double heads. So this is a pastel double head desert ghost pied. And you'd want to talk about a uh, pastel keeping its color throughout adulthood. This thing is just ridiculous. You would think it was a pastel orange dream. And this thing's over a thousand grams already. Um, so it's about a year and a half, thousand grams. Look at those pie tracks. Just beautiful example of pastel and the power of pet influence. And. Let me show you the sister. This girl wants to tag me. And here's the sister. She is a pastel inchy 100% double head desert ghost pied. And this girl is ridiculous. I mean, look at all that orange. Look at look at those tracks. Just phenomenal. Phenomenal example of a pastel inchy. She blows my regular pastel inchy at Desert Ghost out of the water. Um, and I hatched a uh, pastel inchy at Desert Ghost this season that was nowhere near as beautiful as this girl was as a baby. Um, and real quick, I'll show you a regular pastel inchy at Desert Ghost that doesn't contain het pied. One second. So here is another beautiful pastel inchy but she's just het desert ghost she's not het for pied as well so if I put these side by side um, and this don't get me wrong this is a beautiful example but this one has browned out a lot more than this one has here um, but they both come from the same dad so they, they've got the same genetics in them um, but this girl is right about 800 grams I haven't fed her as often as this one um, and she was in shed and just got out of shed so I actually I gotta feed her but um yeah there we have it let's get to the next the next animal or animals okay so the next I have next two snakes are just 
your standard um, pipe bulb um, mutation. So this girl is beefed up, fat, ready to go, ready to breed. Um, tis the season for stuck shed, so I didn't get to water her in time. Had a little bit of stuck shed and played around in her poop a little bit. Uh, you know, they love to play in their poop. This girl, I'm gonna hold her off for a little bit. Um, she decided to go on a little bit of a hunger strike the last two weeks, but she's still got really good size. I could pair her up right now and uh, she would actually be good to go. But this is the girl I'm probably gonna hold off and wait a little bit to see if I can get the pastel leopard yellow belly pied to go. Um, this girl, I'm still on the fence. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna breed that male that I just picked up to her, um, the blackhead Mojave pie, or het pie, um, just cause I don't wanna go overkill, but it would increase my chance of hitting the blackhead Mojave pie um, significantly. Um, but I may use her with the Pastel Enchi Desert Ghost again to get a male because I actually didn't hit on a male. Um, or I might just use her for some really powerful hets. So get something thrown, in, thrown into her for some for some hets. Because um, I do need to step up my Pied game. I got into Pied very late. Um, I was always the one that, you know, um, everybody was doing it so I didn't want to do it type of mentality. but. Um, I definitely put myself behind on Pied projects because they are beautiful and they always do really well in the market So I wanted to be a part of that But um, let me get to the last Pied I'm gonna show off for this video and uh, we'll wrap it up you guys don't understand how happy I am um, I checked on her earlier and she was in shed and I was mad because I wanted to make this video and uh, I was good. I was about to say, you know, you always film in one snake is in deep shed <laughs> Well, I got lucky because you guys get to see this girl's colors. And uh, what we have here, if you haven't figured out by now, I'm a huge fan of pastel inchies. Um, <laughs> but this is a pastel inchy pied. So what I love about the inchy pieds is they're very high pattern, very low white. Um, for the most part, um, every now and again you'll see uh, an inchy that's got some high, high white in it but it's generally when it's mixed with something else. But you'll see a lot of bleeding through on the sides of the of the pied pattern. This girl just ate. Uh, so she's nice and fat. But you can see the pied bleeding through. But this was the girl that I was shopping for a male for um, over the last week or so um, because I didn't want to just make heads using this girl. I wanted to have the opportunity to make some visual pieds because again, I do need to step up my pied game. And uh, this girl has been an exceptional, exceptional female for me, a great eater, has never refused a meal, even in shed, she's eaten. Um, I got her last year at the Del Mar Reptile Expo in California, Southern California. And uh, I got her at a steal. Um, a baby version of this on the market right now is actually a lot more than what I paid for her. Uh, market's been doing really good on pieds. But um, yeah, so we're gonna put the Blackhead Mojave Het Pied to this girl and uh, see if we can hit on a Blackhead Mojave Enchi. Um, the standard Blackhead Mojave Enchis look amazing, but we'll see if we can hit that in the pied form. That would be awesome. And then Pastel would just be a bonus on top. So uh, yeah, guys. That's gonna wrap it up for the pieds that I wanna show off in this collection. Um, that's pretty much all I have. I think that contains pied that I can think of off the top of my head. So um, yeah, stay tuned. you guys enjoyed the video as much as I did it was really fun filming this video um, these animals are just awesome and I'm really excited for this season this season is gonna be huge matter of fact let me show you something real quick so you can see behind me of course I've got everything labeled you can see those little colorful stickers on the tub that means that I've already started pairing some of these animals so uh, real quick I'll show you a few of them 
So right here, we've got the Firefly female, and she was, let me turn down the brightness, but she was bred to an acid Orange Dream Blitz, um, paired on 1111. The check mark next to it means I witnessed a lock. So Mojave Leopard, I threw in the Pastel Inchy Desert Ghost two different times. I witnessed a half a lock on the 15th. I forgot to check it off. Um, it looked like it was a, a maybe on the lock. Their tails were definitely um, together, but it wasn't a clean looking lock, so I, I didn't I didn't mark it. Um, and then we've got a Puma. She was thrown in twice with the blackhead yellow belly. They had a really good lock on 1028. Threw back. He was thrown back in on 1115. I didn't witness a lock. Um, and I'll show you one more. I've got a total of like 11 or 12 that I've already thrown in. But we've got the Pastel Karma, which is a Pastel Mystic Lesser. The Karma is an axe like super. So every baby is going to contain either Mojave, or sorry, either Mystic or Lesser. And she was bred to the Gotham on October 28th. And I've got a really good lock there. But uh, I mean, I've got, I've got lots of pairings in a lot of places. I've really been pairing the puzzle stuff um, pretty consistently, so. Um, oh, here's another good one. Pastel Clown was bred to the Gotham on 11.11, and we did get a lock, so. Yeah, so exciting over here. I uh, gotta turn up the brightness so you guys can see me. But um, a lot of fun stuff over here. If you guys want to know more of what's going on behind the scenes, I do have a Patreon and I'm, I started posting pretty consistently on there. I post my breeding plans, I show pictures of the locks, um, talk about the unboxings, all that stuff way ahead of time. So if you guys want to be ahead of the loop on what's going on over here, definitely go check out the Patreon. Um, but also, if you're new to the channel, click the links in the description. Have You have complete access to um, all of my social media. I do have nine animals available on Morph Market right now. So if you guys are in the market and you guys want one of my beautiful animals, go check them out. I've got some really good stuff up there. Next video, I'm going to do a highlight of um, some of the animals that I held back from this season. They've had their, their second shed and they're starting to look really amazing and I really want to show them off to you guys. So uh, until next time, guys, Anthony with Granddaddy Herbs. Peace.